This is part two of the 100% tutorial. We're gonna be doing the stuff before Decatree, like Wes, some chickens, just the filler stuff. Decatree is gonna be a huge video. So we're gonna do this stuff first. Hope you enjoy. When you enter Hyrule Field, do four rolls forward, hug them as tight to the tree line as possible, and then do two side-ups to the right. You'll trigger the owl to start talking to you. Make sure you choose the second option. If you choose the first one, you'll get stuck in a loop. Uh, once you do that, you wanna line up on the next tree line to set your back walk angle. The back walk angle isn't that tricky, but it needs to be precise. There's a big tree next to you on the right, and then there's a big limb that comes off of it. You wanna stand on the edge of the big limb, and then look at the tree across from you. You want your head to be just to the right of that tree. That's the angle you want. When you do your back walk, make sure you do something really stylish. I like to flick my shield really fast or mess with the map. Some people flick their shield with the music. I don't know, it's your own personal preference. The trick coming up is called a west. It looks a little bit goofy, but don't worry, it's easy. When you get to this part of the fence, do a side up to the left and do a jump slash. Uh, hold the ESS position of your controller on the right side. If you don't know what that is, I'll describe it again in a sec. And hold Z. When you exit the water, if you hold ESS on the right side and Z, you'll get a huge boost of speed. And you can ride that past the owl so you don't have to talk to him, and you can enter Kekriko. Uh, when you get around the Kekriko entrance, let go of Z so you'll spin into it, and then retarget so that you lock the angle and you can enter Kekriko. So once again, ESS position is where you hold slightly right, slightly left of the controller, just barely off the center so that Link is pivoting, he's just turning, he's shuffling his feet, uh, he's not actually moving his feet, because that wouldn't be ESS position, that'd be something completely different. So just make sure you get super comfortable with this position, because you need to do it for all sorts of tricks, in 100% for the Wes, for just everything. Well, not everything, but a lot of things. So get used to it. It's super important. If you script the West, there's a bunch of things you might be doing wrong. Uh, you might jump slash too far away, in which case you don't get enough recoil. You might kind of hit it, but not enough. Uh, you might jump slash too close. Your sword will just go through the fence if that's the case. You won't hit anything. Your angle might be off. You might be, you know, you might go for the setup and Link will just grab the fence if your angle's off, which is terrible. Uh, if you do any of these things, you're going to have to do the backup strat, which is a horrifying abomination of a strat. So just try and get the Wes as best as you can, because you don't want to do this backup strat. I hate it. When you do the backup strat, line up on the left side of the river. There's going to be like a lime green splotch on the wall. You want Link's head lined up with that. So Z target the wall there, and then keep holding Z and do two vertical slashes. Once you do the vertical slashes, you prime up for a spin attack by holding B, and then do the spin attack. During the spin attack, hold R, and make sure you hold R during the end of the spin attack because it'll change your angle. That's the angle that you want to do the mini west here. Once you get that angle, do a side up to the right and jump attack. And then you'll get a west started. Make sure you let go of Z, and then target quickly so that you can get that angle back to Kegriko because you want to spin a little bit after you get this west. And then just continue like normal. This strat sucks, okay? I'm just gonna be straight up with you. Try to just get the West. Just please God, just get the West. You don't wanna deal with this thing. So this chicken part is pretty straightforward, but I wanna say something just cause that, you know, I don't want this part of the video to just be completely blank. So, you know, you walk up, uh, get the first chicken, roll up to him, and then there's gonna be like a black part of the wall, maybe line up on the left side of that, back walk. Once you see the, uh, what I gauge is like the three bushes and like the full tree of the old guy. I don't know, that's when I, I z-target down left, that's what I do. So I go down left, he could throw him at the line on the wall, I don't know, it's kind of creative process, just throw him wherever. Break this box and uh, activate him, you don't need to slash him, just walk near him. You can do this fancy backflip, you don't have to. It's personal preference, really, get this chicken. And then you want a z-target here just to reduce lag. And go get this chicken too. You want to throw him as close to the lattice fence thingy as possible and as far to the left as possible. Just just like horizontally throw him. And then get this chicken, kind of line up, back walk. Make sure you don't leave any of these chickens behind. Uh, throw him in the pen. 
Make sure if you miss a throw to like pick up the one you threw, otherwise he's gonna run away and you're screwed. Get this guy. You can tell how fast you're going based on the carpenter. You don't need to backwalk there. It's just me being fancy. You can backwalk here. When I see the box, I turn around, uh, throw him directly to the left, pick up this guy, and do one Z target, and turn to the left. You want to throw this guy as close to like this fence as possible, and make sure it's the second prong. So throw him, it's, it's like directly at the corner of the thing across from you. That's where you throw. Uh, because that chicken ends up in really weird spots, so just be careful. Make sure you grab this ladder and you don't accidentally miss the ladder because that's a huge waste of time. There's gonna be three chickens you gotta get left. Uh, you wanna throw him down, get one more. You don't even need to look where you slash this guy, just wherever, just get him, get him going. And then you should be good with the last three. Sometimes that third chicken can be in a very strange spot. He might be behind the well, he might be in like a little crevice somewhere, so just be careful. Uh, so there you go, you got your bottle. You got your bottle. These are the stuck spots for the last third chicken. Uh, he might be way over on like the left, you might barely see him, but he might be sneaky over there. Or he might be hiding behind the two posts. So one of those two. Or three. One of those three. When you have chickens, make sure you avoid this. Okay? You want to make sure that you have enough speed when you're going off an edge that you don't accidentally grab the edge because if you do, you're going to drop the chicken and it's going to be horrible. Don't do it. When you get the bottle, there's a rock in the distance that you want to get to because there's bugs underneath it. So roll there, back walk there, it doesn't matter. Just get to the bugs. Uh, pick up the rock, equip the bottle, and then pick up the bugs at the bottle. Then save and reset the game. This will warp you back to Link's house. When you turn your game back on, you'll be back in Link's house. Exit the house, flick up left on the control stick, and do six side ups to the left, and then roll your way to Mido. After you talk to Mido, do four rolls forward, and then do three rolls, and cut the farthest Deku Baba. Once you pick up the Deku Stick, you want to get primed to do the recoil boost. It saves like a second or two, but it's worth it because it's so easy to do. Uh, once you pick up the Deku Stick, do a roll towards the Deku Tree and like that wall next to it. And turn to the left, you'll be like right next to the cutscene trigger at this point. Turn to the left, do a side up to the right, and jump attack quickly. If you do it right, you'll hear the jump attack in the background during the cutscene and Link will get a huge boost forward towards the Deku Tree. If you do it incorrectly, I mean, he won't get his big boost, he'll just walk into the cutscene like normal. It's worth doing just because it's so easy and it saves a couple seconds. So now you just enter the Deku Tree's mouth, like Osmosis Jones in that movie with Bill Murray. Basically the same thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to be doing Deku Tree next. It's going to be a lot more complicated than this one, I feel. So I want it to be its whole own video. I'm going to be getting on that probably next week. So look out for it. Thank you guys again. Have a good one. Like, subscribe. Thanks to Nerd or Die again for editing these. It takes way too much time for me to do it on my own. So thanks you guys so much. Have a good one.